before I was doing it, I felt nervous because I I didn't know how to talk about my feelings. And then when I, once I got through it, I started feeling better about doing it. In order to get great performance of students, you have to build relationships. You have to develop a want to for kids. And SEL really is the want to factor. Prior to SEL, um, we had a lot of scholars who were very frustrated. Some of their frustrations may have come from external things. Something could have happened at home, something could have happened on a bus. So they really didn't have any strategies to be able to help cope. In years past, there was a little reactionary approach to it. Something would happen, and now we're coming together and figuring out what to do with the student after a situation has taken place. Now we look at it from the beginning. Social and emotional learning is a foundation in your classroom. It allows you to connect with your students, to get to know them better, to have the students connect with each other, which can only make academics more successful. Hey, let's jump in! This whole program is amazing because when we start to finish, it really helps the kids welcome in the day. So good morning! Good morning, Ms. Warren! Let's go ahead and, Jalisa, can you lead us in a breathing activity? And let's go ahead and settle in. They start out with deep breathing, which helps kids to focus and transition into the community building session activities. Breathe in, hum it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good day today. All right, so what I use deep breathing when I'm hyper sad or mad at someone. It helps me know better what I'm supposed to do when, my anger, when I get angry at someone. Then they move on to a greeting, which is really important. Having yourself acknowledged every single day um, by your teacher or by your peers is really wonderful, and kids have big smiles when they get greeted. They go on to give each other compliments. Delisa. I love the way that my friends help me every time when I'm feeling low. Isn't that true? Yesterday you were kind of having a rough day, right? And then I saw a lot of you go up to her, and you were like, you okay? So you guys are very, a really good family and one child complimented another child, and then all of a sudden, one of our scholars decided, you know what, I'm gonna compliment everyone. I like the way you push through your work and never give up. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and what was great to see is it wasn't, oh, your hair's pretty. Oh, I like your shoes. It was really about that person. Eli, I, I like the way when people try to bully you, you ignore them. Mm. That's true. That's true. He got what was special about each person, and he was able to express it with confidence. And the whole energy of the whole room changed. They have group activities where they can incorporate academics or they can do a fun activity just to get the class together. And then they'll move on to news and announcements, things that might be going on in the classroom or the school or even kids' personal lives. It helps us know how each other are feeling so then we can help each other. This enables them to kind of, okay, I've got this big emotion, what do I do with it? And my emotion will impact another person. So I matter, but guess what? So do they, and that is huge. And then they end with uh, breathing again to refocus them and take them out into their next activity. Okay, let's go ahead and start for a great day. I want you to go ahead and have a seat. With frameworks, they give you the tools. It's like your toolbox. You've got your teacher toolbox, you've got your toolbox of being a parent. Sometimes we will go in and model lessons or co-lead community building sessions with students and teachers to give them a good idea of the feel of it and how it can work in their classroom. Other times we might sit with teachers and coach them on some areas that they may be struggling with or some areas students are struggling with and try and give some fresh ideas on how to approach that. Our framework staff has just been that extra piece to the puzzle. So it's really fantastic to have that be a component of our partnership because it gives our teachers another ally in, in the pursuit of SEL. It's going to make a change in your classroom and you'll see it. You'll see it in little increments and you'll see it in little bits in individual students and then you'll see it in groups. And by the end of the school year, you won't remember what your classroom used to look like because this community that you've built, your family in this classroom is amazing. And now you have students that are just thriving like never before and they will take that on to their middle school. They'll take that on to their high school. The impact is so much broader than the classroom. If every school had SEL, they would be able to truly come together as a school community and promote academics, promote social awareness, promote positive citizens to prepare them for life. Mm -hmm.